Hey guys, it's uh, Bain again, again. Uh, so I want to talk about uh, two things in this video. First, a change to the 5e Shops Emporium, a feature feature I added. And then the second thing, it's uh, everyone that understands how this extension works and how to load it. Uh, you can stop watching and everyone that doesn't and maybe a little confused on the difference between an extension and a module and how the two work together, uh, you can stick around and we're going to go over more detailed explanation. Okay, and that'll apply to any extension or module, not just this one. Okay, so first we're going to look at... Uh, our shops and so I have a little Bob's good here locally um, and you'll see that he's got some thieves tools in there now what I added uh, was this little functionality at the bottom and so this is something that only uh, the GM sees or will see and um, he can raise or lower the prices uh, just by the click of a button and so uh, you know it's uh, there's some rounding in here and so, uh, you know, if I lower by 10%, it's going to take it down to 23, not 22.5, right? It's also, it's not going to say 22 and 5 silver, right? So if you have something that's one gold piece and you try to lower the price, uh, it's not going to um, change it to uh, 9 silver, right? And if you have one gold piece and you raise it by 10%, um, it's probably going to leave it as one gold piece. Okay, I don't think it rounds it up. We could try it though. Let's let's just add an item, see what happens. Let's see. Uh, trial item. And then we're just gonna say it's uh, one gold piece. Now ideally what would be cool is if it raised it by two. It might. Okay, yeah, it doesn't. So you're gonna have to go raise it by let's see, sixty percent, probably fifty percent will cause it to raise, okay? So just be aware of that. So it's not perfect, but it does add a little bit of flavor. Now what this does is it actually adjust the item here inside this shop so this shop you know it's Bob's shop it's his items he can raise and lower the prices as much as he wants right but this doesn't change the actual item that you would find in the in the items menu right so if you go over to look at that um, as you can see I don't even have a module loaded right now right and so and so if you what's funny is like this item is actually not even listed in here right because it's local in this shop right it's in Bob's shop Right. But it functions just like the thieves tools that you find in the in the module. Uh, if the player loads it to his inventory. It, it's going to look exactly like this. OK, with the 54 gold. And what's cool about that is the players really don't know if you've raised or lowered the prices. They won't see this down here at the bottom. OK, so uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. And so enough of that. <clears throat> All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about is uh, uh, extensions and modules. OK, so. An extension is basically a code that alters the rule set. And so the rule set, as you know, when you load your rule set and you don't load any modules, they're just these empty shells, right? You have these feats menus, you have a race menu, and um, in this case, you're going to have a shops menu with nothing in here. This is because I hit the plus button and I added a shop, right? Just like that. Okay, so uh, that's what an extension is. An extension is just alters the rules, right? So it, it just makes this shell, it makes all these controls it makes all the code that's behind them that's the extension and when you load an extension you load it when you load your campaign so on the right hand side of your screen there's a little box that says extensions uh, or themes or whatever and it's got all your themes in there and one of them is going to be called Bane's Emporium 5e okay and so you're going to want to check that box and it's going to load it with your extension okay pretty easy okay so what you do is you make a campaign and I like to make a master shops campaign. And the reason you do that, we'll get to in a second. Or, uh, so we, we make our campaign and then I create all my shops in there. And you'll know that they're local to the campaign because there's nothing right here. It's just blank. Okay. I'll show you what I mean in a second. And so in this case, I created Bob's goods. And Bob has some thieves tools and he has a trial item. And I jack the prices up. Okay. So he's a little, little shifty. Okay, so once I create my shops, like say I'm going to make create all the shops in Evening Star, for instance. Okay, uh, and uh, I close it out. I just go over here to the chat screen and I type export. Now it brings up this menu. Okay, and so in this instance, I have Bob Shops. I put a little thumbnail image on there. Um, I'm going to select all. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure it's read only, and I'm going to make sure this is very important that it is a player module. And then I'm going to hit export. Okay, and what that does is, is it now creates a module. And a module is in your modules folder inside your Fantasy Grounds uh, uh, installation directory, right? All right, and what that allows me to do is to go into my library, click on modules, and find Bob's shop there. 
Now, if I load this, what you'll now see is I have two Bob's goods, right? Because I have one that's local to my campaign, right? And I also have this with this little book, which means it's it's in saved to the module. Now, if I make any changes to this, it's not going to ever be saved, right? Um, but let's say I accidentally do. Let's say I accidentally grab the wrong one, okay? And I make a change to it. And I, was, I just mess it around. I raise the price. Okay, one thing you could do is you can go back to your library. You can go back to your modules. You could find the, the module in there, right-click it, and there's a little thing that says revert changes. If you click that, it'll take it back to that save file. So that's exactly what it is. It's like a save file. And, and the reason you do that in another campaign is so that you have this virgin copy of your shop. So no matter what happens in your current campaign with the players, you can always go back to your original file. Okay. If I create it inside this campaign and I start making changes to it, whatever changes I make to this one that's inside this campaign will forever be there. Whatever mistake, whatever, uh, I can never get my prices back again. I'd have to completely restock it back to the, uh, items out of the SRD or the players, player's handbook. Okay. So, so what I do normally is let's, we're going to go actually into this and we're going to actually unload Bob's and we're actually going to load, uh, this one, because this is the one I made for my first video and you can see it's loaded in here and I have my village blacksmith shop. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these and I have stalling for Now, if I accidentally delete that, what I do is, is I go and revert changes and it'll come right back. Okay. So, so I see it has a book. So that's part of my module. And so there it is. There's village. This all got exported in here. This token, all this, this was contained in that module file. Okay. Now I don't actually want to edit this right now. If I do, it's not a big deal. Um, because I can always revert changes, but if you try to use this out of the module to, uh, run in your campaign, uh, you're probably going to get some errors because of the way it's pointing to the database files. So what we want to do is we just want to make a copy of this. Okay. So now you see there's no book there and it's a copy in my campaign and I can actually go in here into my modules just because I don't want to accidentally go and mess up my shop or think I'm working in the right shop and I'm not, and it's gone, right? I unloaded it, but I have a copy of village blacksmith there. Okay. So uh, now this is a living shop inside this campaign. Any changes I make to the shop will forever be there. The only way to go back is to delete this, load my module, make another copy, right? And from my save file, essentially, okay? And I can raise and lower the prices here, and they're all going to go up. I'm just going to keep going up, right? Okay, so uh, that's uh, the difference between a module and an extension. Uh, we create the module in a separate campaign. We import it into our campaign with our players, and that's why, okay? And I talked about how to revert changes. So if you have any questions on that, or if you're still not clear, uh, just uh, hit me up on Discord or ask me here on YouTube. Thanks.